Okay, so today I am going to be showing you guys how I put some metal flake on this design here. Uh, we're going to be adding that center part of this hibiscus. I don't know what you call it, but it's like that yellow part that like kind of shoots out. Um, but I have two different ones that need it. So both of these hibiscus are going to get them. So I'm going to be using a mixture of enamel and metal flake to do that. So I'm going to be using... Pate Huffer's Metal Flake for this in two different colors. So we're going to be using Porno Pink and Golden Shower. Really love these flakes. They're super pretty. And since the middle part's yellow, it's going to be probably more yellow with a bit of pink. I don't know. I just like both colors. So I'd really like to use them both. Maybe each hibiscus can have a different colored one. I don't know. And then for the enamels, we're going to use Alpha 6. I'm going to be using Bombshell Pink. It's really pretty pink. This is what I used for the hibiscus here. And then this Danny D's yellow for the center and maybe a bit of Tidwell's orange. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use orange or not yet. So we'll just see. But yeah, these are what I'm gonna use to put on the flower and then the flake is going to stick to this. So I'm just gonna use my little handy dandy little easel here that I got from Alpha Enamel. I love this. It's just loaded up with some cut papers. And I don't need too much of this paint. You want to make sure you shake it before. I'm just going to put a tiny bit because, again, I really don't need too much. This paint goes a long way, too. And we'll put a bit of orange, even though I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet or not. Won't hurt nothing. And then I do have some mineral spirits in here. And then I'm just going to be using, again... I always use my Mac and Tidwell. I'm going to be using the stubby one. I love this brush. And then possibly super skinny one. A pointy one. Again, these are like probably my most used brushes. Looking a little crazy there. Covered in oil right now. <laughs> so looking at reference photos, there's really... I don't know why this flake is stuck on there. That'll come off. Um, it seems like the base of it is like a darker color and then there's like small little like yellow pieces. So this pencil is where I had drawn where I wanted it to go. So I'm just going to start with my smaller brush and I'm just going to go in with that orange, even though I wasn't sure if we're going to use it, I'm going to use that. So starting from the center here. gonna make a line okay I think that is good and then I'm gonna dip into a bit of the yellow and just put like these really don't have to be perfect because I'm going to cover it with flake. I'm just going to put some dots up here. Let me make them a bit lower. Wipe off the brush. Go back in with some more orange. The top here. Maybe make it go like that maybe. I don't know. Again, I don't know what you call this part of the hibiscus. Okay, cool. And we're just going to do one side at a time. So this is the start. So for this next part, um, we're going to be dumping flake on that wet enamel. So I just have a piece of paper here that I folded in half. Of course, I just got orange and yellow paint on it because I'm messy. That's just a bit of thinner. It's not going to hurt anything. But you want to fold your paper in half and make sure you have like a center crease there because that just helps when we go to like pour whatever flake we don't use back into the cup. It's just, it's going to make it easier if you have that crease there. So you'll see how that works in a second. But I think what we're going to do is start with a little bit of pink. Absolutely love this one. It is a bit holographic, which is totally cool. And we're going to start with this guy. And I'm just going to take my cup and kind of hold it over this paper here like so. 
and nothing else on this cup is wet. So that's the thing. If you're doing this, the only part that you want to be working on is like what you want metal flake stuck on. So I let all this dry because if everything else was wet and I dumped flake on it, like the flake is going to stick to everything else that was painted. So you kind of have to do this in kind of like layers almost and kind of just different parts. So yeah, the only thing wet on this cup is what I just painted and that's exactly what you want unless you want Metal Flake to stick to other parts. So normally I would just dump it, but I kind of want to, since I want to use two different colors, like I want to kind of do this in sections almost. So I'm just going to grab, this is just an old random paintbrush that I have. I'm just going to take this and kind of scoop up some flake and again holding the cup over here I'm just going to kind of sprinkle just kind of on the side because I still want some orange showing oops there we go throw some up top want more at the bottom just put that back in the cup Brush this stuff off. And you don't want to get too close to where you just painted because it is wet. So yeah, there's the pink. Now we're going to put some yellow on it. So I'll show you why that crease came in handy. There's not too much flake. So I mean, really, if you didn't care, you could just toss it use less flake than I thought so now the paper is clean move that out of the way now we're gonna go in with a bit of golden shower and this one's a bit more this one's very iridescent but it's a bit kind of see-through a bit what you want Barbie but yeah we're gonna go in with this now and so with this one, I'm gonna, I'm not really gonna save the metal flake that I use because I don't want to accidentally dump in like some of that pink into this container because that would suck and ruin the whole container. <laughs> so I'm just gonna scoop out some yellow and start dropping this yellow on. Like so. I'm even gonna like hit my brush a bit on the cup to make more of it fall off. Brush it back towards it. Again, be careful not to touch what you just painted because it will kind of smear it because it is wet. We're just gonna let that dry and then once it's dry we can brush off the flake and then you'll really see what it looks like but the point I want it to be super sparkly just how like the J is maybe see these yellow highlights on there what if Just put some flake on that. Maybe that'll be cool. Cool. Now we can do the other side. As you can see on my paper, see the darker spots? That's a bit of pink that fell off. So I'm not gonna dump this back in the yellow because I don't want any pink mixed in with my yellow there. Now let's do the other side. I'm gonna hold the cup different and I'm gonna be careful not to touch 
it to the um, paper because that'll ruin the other side. <laughs> I think it's gonna look cool. And now I cleaned it up. I let it dry for a while. So it's still a little tacky, but it's not too bad. Yeah. It looks so cool. I love how this turned out. Yeah. Cool. So this is the cup that I made for my mom, all done. It turned out so good. It's like...